Sometimes I feel like I'm in Barcelona See any time I eat these tunes I just start drifting away And all I wanna do is go back Sometimes Hello, I'm Oriol Romeo I'm 24 years old, I'm Spanish and coming from the Barcelona Academy and I'm now a Southampton player and I'm very happy to be here. Sometimes I, I feel like I yeah, I was very young, I was playing in my hometown and when I was nine I moved to Barcelona to play with uh, Espanyol, which uh, I played for three years and then I moved to Barcelona for, for nine years there, so it was quite a long time but uh, also very, very important, I, I learned a lot. Uh, I could uh, had like uh, very important coaches, uh, very important players playing with me uh, alongside, and, and it was very good experience. Also getting in the first team like for a few weeks and I'm training with those uh, kind of players is always something very nice and, and very teachable. So it was an amazing experience, and I think this has this has helped me uh, throughout all my career. Everyone was uh, trying to play the same football, the same style and as you were growing it was uh, easier to, to do the, the next step because it was just uh, obviously from on the 16 to on the 18 you need to improve your game, you need to play quicker, stronger but the style of play was the same and, and that wasn't changing so it was easier for us to, to grow and to get better uh, and then the coaches that I had uh, Maybe they are not famous, but uh, I remember Rodolfo Boré, García Pimienta, and second team Luis Enrique. He is, is now in first team. He's obviously very famous. He was always pushing the team. Uh, he knew he had uh, very young players, talented players, but without work, uh, he said us from he said to us from first day that without work you cannot reach anything. And we were fighting for getting into second division in Spain, and and we got it. We 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 achieved that. Messi, Iniesta, Xavi, at that time also Puyol, uh, Piqué. Uh, it's amazing just to see how they work, how they train. Uh, they just uh, do everything, they, they just do their best and, and it's not just an <clears throat> something that comes on from out of nothing. They, they worked a lot in every training session, they, they put uh, a lot of effort and, and that ends up being what, what has been uh, so far. Uh, a lot of trophies, a uh, lot of success. I remember Xavi, for example, he was a uh, very, very uh, close guy. Anything you need, he was there to help you. He was there to, to tell you whatever you need. And, and it was very important for, for young players. Uh, I think people like him is, is always an idol, but not just, as I said, because on the pitch, also because off the pitch, they, they do a lot for, for everyone. Good afternoon and we have some breaking news for you from Cobham this morning and the club are delighted to announce the signing of Oriol Romeo Vidal on a four-year contract. Once uh, I left Barcelona it was a big change uh, because uh, obviously there we were with 70-80% of possession every game. Uh, we didn't defend a lot, of course sometimes you had to react and get the ball back quick but uh, it was very different. And, and here in England, there are a lot of transitions. It's harder to keep the ball because players and, and teams are a bit stronger. They, they defend quite well. In it comes. Guzan stays on his line. It goes over everybody and set up to equalise at the back post. And diving down to get a goal, sliding in from close range, is Oriol Romeo, his first Southampton goal. Uh, to feel like part of a club rather than going on loan every year, it's... It's much better because uh, then you want to win, you know, that the next year, whatever you do, this one, uh, it's going to have uh, an impact, uh, yeah. next one. So um, you, are, you want to be involved, you want to help the team, you want to win everyone to get better and, and be a, an important teammate player. We are here in the centre of Southampton, uh, a city with a lot of history. And one proof of this uh, history is this building that we have behind. Many people from Spain, they, they don't know a lot of things about Southampton and it's good to tell them how it is, uh, what we have in here, uh, historical uh, uh, things like uh, the, the simple example with the shirt. Uh, it's something that is on there and, and maybe not many people know it and it's good to tell them and, and to share it with, with, with many of them. So it's just sort of uh, 
showing another also phase of your of your life because everyone sees you in, in TV or playing football, and it's just we are interesting in knowing things. We're interesting on on, on obviously uh, uh, things from the club and from our city. So it's good to see and it's good to show. Last season we, we we had all a very good season and we all enjoyed it. But this one is another challenge. It's another. Uh, it's another season completely different to the last one, so we just have to get better and improve. Uh, we changed our system, we changed our a little bit our style of play. Of, of play sorry, but uh, as we said, we have a good team, and, and we just have to to improve it and get better. Personally, uh, I'm feeling very comfortable with my teammates. Uh, the confidence is is, is higher, so uh, improve my game obviously and, and get physically uh, a bit better.